Hi friends, I am Jitendra Basna. Today we will going to see async scope with Milford. So basically, what is use of async scope? So before that, I will going to you know explain the processing of the synchronous flows. So basically, you have a flow one and flow two. Okay. So if you are not using asynchronous, okay, if you are using the synchronous flow, so flow one is calling flow two using the flow reference component. So what will happen? Suppose flow one has called the flow two. So you know flow one will stop its execution till okay flow two completed. Once flow two is completed, again flow one started execution where it stopped. So but when you use the async scope, in that case what will happen? See if you using the async scope in that case like. Flow one is calling the flow two. Flow one will never stop its execution. It will call the flow two and it will start its execution in parallel. Flow two will be okay. Start its own execution. So flow one and flow two are not depend on the each other. Okay, and they both works in the parallel. Okay. So now we will going to see a demonstration on that. So what I will do? I will create a new application file, new new project. I will say async scope. And for mule runtime, I will keep it 3.8.3. In your case, there can be a multiple runtime. You can select depending on your requirement or choice. Rest of the setting, I will not going to touch. I will say finish. First thing, as usual, I will drag and drop HTTP listener component, and I will going to configure it. What I will do? First, I have to do the connector configuration. I will click on this add button. Okay. The rest of the setting, I will keep default. I will not going to change anything. You can change. Whatever you want, okay. I will say path async method post. Right now, I put one logger component. Let logger component. Okay. So in logger component, I will say flow one started. Fine. Then I will put. Let me. Uh, Add one more flow. Okay, let me put one logger component. I will say flow two started. Okay. After that, uh, I will put one groovy component. So I want to, you know, make sure that it wait for some time. I will say thirty seconds. It's thirty thousand milliseconds. Now, I will use one file component in the flow two. First, I will make two folder new folder. I will say flow one folder. I create one more folder new flow two. Finish. I am going to configure path here. SRC test resources. I will say flow one. No, sorry, flow two. Now I will put one more logger component. Okay. What I will say? Flow two completed. Fine. Now I will put one file flow reference. Here I will call flow two. Okay. Second thing I will also use the file connector here also. I will say source test resources flow one. Okay. Now I will put one logger component. I will say flow one. Please. Okay. Let me start the application. First case, we are just you know seeing the synchronous one. So let me post the message. I'll post it. I post the message. You can see, flow one started, flow two started, right? Let me refresh. 
you can see there is no file in flow one yet because flow one is waiting for flow two to, to be completed. Here we have 30 second slip, 30 second waiting. So you can see flow one started, flow two started. Let me refresh it again. Still no file. So still flow one is waiting for flow to be complete. Okay, now you can see. Refresh it. You can see file in both the folder. We will check which flow has been completed first. Here you can see that flow two completed, then flow one completed. Okay. So what you have noticed that like you okay, the flow one is depend on the flow two to complete. As soon as flow two complete, then flow two okay uh, flow one is, it will start its execution where it stops. Okay. Okay, let me do one thing. Now just correct me the spelling. Fine. So now what we can do, like if you want your flow one to be continue, it should not wait for flow two to complete. So for that we will use the async scope. I will use async scope. I will put this uh, flow reference into the async scope. So basically scope are the reference. Okay, if you see the configuration XML. So, see, uh, there is a uh, one minute. Let me find out. See, async scope. Under async scope, we have a flow wrap. So, uh, scopes are all, always known as a wrappers. Fine. Now, what I will do, I will stop the application. I will start the application once again. Let me remove this file from folders. Its application has been deployed. Now let me execute. Okay, we got the response. Let me check if flow one has been executed. You can see the file has been processed from flow one. We will check the log also. If flow one started, flow two started, flow one completed. Now flow one heaven wait for flow two get completed. So flow one is already completed, and you can see one file in the folder location. Okay, let's wait to flow to be completed. It because there is a waiting period of 30 seconds. Okay, now flow 2 has been completed. See and refresh it. See, now we can see the file in the flow 2 also. So basically, asynchronous when you can use the asynchronous when you want okay, your all the flows you know execute in the parallel mode. And otherwise, like flow 1 doesn't depend on the flow 2. In that case, you can use the async scope. So thanks for watching video, hope you have enjoyed.